Hello everyone, I'm Rachel Frazier and I am here today to do a dance ministry leadership training video with you guys. Today's topic is one that I've gotten a lot of questions about. It is scheduling practice with teenagers. Um, I get a lot of people to tell me, how do I do this? Their schedule is this, their schedule is that. And so today we're going to tackle that issue. Uh, the first thing I want to do is open up with a word of prayer, and then we will jump right into today's session. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding how to share and execute this information in a way that you will be glorified and in a way that this schedule would work for the teens in the different ministries watching this video today. I pray that your blessing be upon us and that the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will be at work within us as we say what needs to be said today in Jesus' mighty name. I would like to tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I'm Rachel Frazier. I have been living a born-again lifestyle for 19 years this year. Um, I'm a member of Smoking for Jesus Ministry under the leadership of Pastor Willie Moday Sr., uh, I've been a member there for the last 18 years. I've been actively involved in dance ministry for 18 years. Um, I've been, I think the last seven or eight years, I've been in leadership with the dance ministry. Um, and from there, um, uh, I've been having Yet Praise Dance Company for the last five years. Yet Praise Dance Company is an outreach ministry where we share the gospel of Jesus Christ through dance to the people in our community. So that's who I am. We're gonna jump into the lesson. I think you need to know who you're dealing with before you click on these videos and begin watching. But today we're gonna to talk about this issue of practice and scheduling. Um, I know it's a doozy because when uh, the kids get into high school, there's all these different activities and things that pull on them, but ministry is still just as important. So I've got three points that we're going to talk about. One, setting the schedule and sticking with it. Two, promoting ministry first as your priority and your team members or students' priority. And how to warn and watch for your students becoming overly involved in activities. Now, I know I just said a mouthful, so let's go ahead and break that down and talk about point number one. Setting a schedule and sticking with it. The biggest thing that I see is inconsistency on the leader's behalf. What do I mean by that? The leader might have practice on a Monday this week, a Thursday next week, skip two weeks, have another practice in between, take off for the whole month. That inconsistency on your end is going to breed inconsistency into your team members. So it's very important that you set a schedule and stick with it. Um, at the studio, our practice day is Thursday. It's been Thursday for five years, and it has not, and it will not ever change. If you want to be a part of this ministry, you're going to conform to our schedule. We're not going to constantly schedule rehearsals and practices around your schedule. Point number two, promote ministry as the first priority. So when you first get into your dance ministry, and some of you may have to go back and do this. You may want to sit down and have a, a meeting with the parents and teenagers and talk about what is priority. Set a schedule in stone. Let them know this is going to be our practice time and it's not going to change. This is what it is. If you'd like to continue in this ministry, we would like for you to adhere to the schedule, be on time, and be consistent. Promote that the ministry is priority because I love sports, I love all these other extracurricular activities, but at the end of the day, those things are not gonna get you into heaven. It's very easy, what I notice once we start, uh, our kids start growing up and becoming teenagers, to begin promoting all these other things over promoting Christ. I love football, I'm a big fan, my husband's a high, high school football coach, and I love football, but we try to keep everything in priority. We don't allow things to cross our ministry schedule. And so uh, you have to find that way to communicate that with your parents and teenagers. Let's move into point number three. You as a leader must consistently, in your practices or rehearsals, 
be watchful for your kids overly committing to other activities. What do I mean by that? Uh, let's say you've got a team of five teenagers in your group dancing. And they come in, they may even talk to you, say, hey, you know, I'm thinking about joining the basketball team at school. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. When is your practices? Uh, let them talk about that. Make sure that your practice and a basketball practice is not conflicting and then bring it up to them and let them make the choice. You know, uh, you know, we've been in ministry. You believe this is what you're called to do, to dance. We need you here at the practice. You're a leader in this particular area, blase, blase. We need you here. Talk to them. Communicate with them. Also, let them know that their other activities are a priority to you, that you are concerned about them. But start looking. So let's say they decide to join a basketball team. They get on a newspaper um, staff. Um, they decide that they're going to go and do all these other things. Start looking for the different signs that your students are being worn out or pulled in too many different directions. And then step in. And, and, and meet with the parent and child and talk about this. Because sometimes the kids will get involved with activities without the parents knowing. Sometimes they'll get involved and the parent doesn't realize that they're in three or four different things that are gonna require a serious commitment. Either way, you need to communicate with the kids in your group, young people in your group, and their parents. It's very, very important that that line of communication is constantly open. Now, let me switch to another area that I did not mention in our topics, but I want to cover. Leadership consistency determines how well the people in your group are consistent. They're not going to do anything that you're not doing. I suggest that you make a yearly schedule and say, what time of year are you going to be off? What time of year are you going to do this, that, and the other? And lay it out and be consistent. If you don't have an event or something coming up to minister, don't take off and not have practice. Get in there. Do some technique training. Watch videos of things you've already done. Critique yourselves. See what you can do better. Get in there and have some spontaneous praise and worship. Have prayer. Do a potluck. But do something on those days. Don't just cancel the rehearsal because you're tired. You had a bad day. You're not feeling up to it. You don't have anything prepared. Don't do that because that's a very unprofessional message that we're sending to those that follow under us and they're bound to repeat the behavior that we display before them so i just want to throw that out there i hope that this video helps someone i hope that uh, if you're a leader it made you say hey man I, I didn't even realize i'm doing this and i need to get this this right and change it for my group or hey i've got team members and i don't know what to do with them but this information was helpful if you need a dance ministry leadership training call where we can go into depth and structure your practice and structure your schedule, I'd love to help you with that. The calls are available at your um, at my leisure, at your leisure. To get one of those calls, you can email yetpraisedancecompany at yahoo.com or you can uh, call me directly at 830-265-7042. But schedule that call Get the help that you need because help is here. Um, also, if you guys haven't already, run over to Facebook and like the ministry training page. I have two pages on Facebook. One is Yet Praise Dance Company, which is our group page, I mean our business page. So everything from our studio is posted there. The ministry training page is a group page. All the free resources, videos like this are posted there. Lastly, uh, check out the website, yetpraisedancecompany.com. Be on the lookout. We have live uh, training videos that you can join and get, up, get on and be a part of. We'll take 30 minutes, talk about a, a, a topic and exhaust it. Then we'll open where you can chime in with your questions and answers. Uh, those videos will be coming soon, so be on the lookout for it. And uh, lastly, go to the YouTube page, hit the subscribe and follow button so that you can get notifications when we have videos like this uploaded. So I want to thank you all for being on the video. We're going to close with a word of prayer. And I pray that God will give you some creative insight how to make this work for your group and team. Lord, I thank you right now for this video. I pray that you would give each dance ministry leader the vision, the knowledge, the understanding how to execute a consistent practice schedule. I thank you for being with us here today. I pray that you would cause all of their team members to comply to whatever rules they set in place. 
And I thank you for it and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. I like to close every video with my favorite scripture from Psalms 40 to 11. Put your hope in God and yet praise him. Bye, guys.